What Halloween, Haunted House, Diwali, and Guru have in common? Well, they're all Guru. Diwali is Indian Guru. Halloween, this Halloween is European Guru. And this Haunted House is a result of Guru. See? Um, you'd be amazed to know what will happen to you if you practice any of these things. Now, I see CNN running a lot of stuff. Show them. Yeah, the pictures you have on Diwali. I think Diwali is something excited. Exciting. I see all over in America, in the libraries in Oakland, they talk about Diwali and yoga and all these Indian stuff. Now, India has distinguished itself. They have uh, made a very democratic move in electing a Sikh in a Muslim and Hindu country. Uh, that was fantastic. But um, Indian culture is not appropriate for us in the West. We don't understand it. Now, in India, it seems as if they're happy, like Chupat uh, Chupat. To, um, Deepak Chopra, he seemed to be happy because he's a missionary. But when you get involved in that thing real quick, it just gets you into a place where you're mixed up, you don't know where you're at, and you end up with some serious problems. Now, if you read up in the Wikipedia um, the encyclopedia, and you're doing Diwali, you can find the talk about Mother Lakshmi. And when you put the lights, uh, it is an invitation for her to come into your house. All right? Now, those are demons. And when you make it uh, for these demons to come, it's not only Mother Lashmi coming in, there's a whole host of them. Now, Mother Lashmi sounds nice and caring and motherly, but it's a devil. Um, the Halloween thing is the same. Um, the Haitian Buddha, but you see, the uh, Halloween is European Buddha. This Diwali and other forms of Indian culture are Indian Buddha. And Black people Buddha is Buddha, like in Haiti. But all of them are dangerous, and you don't want to get involved in it. Um, there's no logic to this thing. I mean, it's not, it doesn't make sense. But you have to know it, you have to experience it, you have to see it uh, to be able to decide on this thing. And um, as I said, in other times, people start practicing this Indian thing in the Caribbean. You've got to figure like Brother Lashmi make them rich. And what happens is that they, they, they start to get rich and they forget the devotion that is required. One guy stand up on the corner with that, a big stone come and hit him and it's just bam! Everybody's trying to duck around. He said, no, 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 that's for me. He has to go home and do his devotions. Sometimes you see a house on fire. You call the fire brigade, they come. The house is not on fire. They think we're, they, well, they of course know, so they, they won't think we're crazy. I mean, Americans and the Europeans might think we're crazy. But they know it. They would have seen it, uh, the smoke and the fire, when they're coming, and when they reach nothing. Nothing scorched, nothing burned, nothing. Um, we don't play with this thing. And um, I know that in this age, we find that uh, we're saying now one in every uh, three Americans won't mind buying a haunted house. That's significant. It could be more than that, uh, that are sort of inclined to this voodoo thing. And um, it's dangerous. You see, voodoo now, and, and they're practicing this Indian thing to make your business prosper. And in, instead of management strategies and economic policies, they come for this. You know, you do a little voodoo. You have a little seance, you conduct the, uh, the high man from India and all that stuff. Oh, by the way, there was a, a city in the Midwest, somewhere in Kansas or one of those states. And they, for their parliament or their, um, you know, where the, the city hall or whatever, they have having a moment of chanting on a moment of meditation where they bring somebody from India to lead them through this kind of thing. And I'm saying like, what? I mean, why can't it be that American religious Christianity, you know, we could take it to India and show them a better way, or oh, they don't want it over there, but we want their food. And the funny thing is that when you look at India and, and all these places that practice Haiti and all these places, that Africa, the Caribbean that practice food, I mean, what are they using to tell you, you working for us, man, we work for you? I mean, like, you know, okay, if you like it, go across the Haiti and live, go to Africa and live, go to India and live, why try to bring it to America? Because you see, India will prosper the Guru because they've been in that for centuries and there's no way they're going to leave it. But we in the West, we try that, man. When we start to collapse and start to get beat up, by the time we can run back to God, it's burned down and it's over. Okay? So, um, the general word to the wise is, is sufficient, but, um, you know, people are playing with evil as if it's a joke. They start them off with Halloween, they start playing with magic, they start playing with Wicca, they start playing with Ouija board, they start playing with magic and all this foolish stuff. And no one did them do well in school. Oh, I went to Harvard and I got out of that degree. But, you know, I, I mean, there's Harvard graduate and there's Harvard graduate. There's Yale graduate and there's Yale graduate. 
In fact, some people will graduate from nondescript college and they might be smarter than a lot of them that graduate from Harvard and Yale when they enter these who them secret societies and all that who your mind, you know, the Bible says the fear of the Lord is to begin the wisdom, knowledge and understanding. And there's no uh, excuse. You cannot be into Satanism in any of its forms. I think you'll have knowledge, wisdom, no understanding. Now, you might go to college and you might study the biology and all that stuff and you say, I know it. But that's one part. But the knowledge that we're talking about here is to be able to pick out the truth in whatever you're studying and to see its relevance among the various disciplines in life and to make appropriate decisions. And a lot of them end up getting tired in drugs and a whole bunch of other things and destroyed before they die or they end up in a premature death. Let me say this. Drug addiction um, is not as bad. Well, of course, drug addiction has some Satanism in it, right? But if one doesn't use drugs, but in practicing these evil and stuff like that, you know what? Your mind will be destroyed more than if you use drugs. I mean, you know, it's like that's how it is. Evil destroys your mind. Well, in the sense that you don't have access to God who gives you wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. So let's put it that way. But something happened to the mind that I can't explain. And, and I can't make it sound logical or, or, or make sense of it. But you just gotta, I don't even want you to pursue it further. Just to be cautious. You know, just leave it alone. Watch how it's going to do to others. And then if everybody's happy and everything is good, then go for it. But don't just jump into this bandwagon to evil. It's dangerous. Okay.